you need some coins to build that dream team you guys have always wanted, head on over to my sponsor, Buy Madden Coins. They have the cheapest, the quickest, and the most reliable coins on the market right now. Make sure to use code Poodle for 20% off at checkout. Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys. And today, we got Series 2. So, Series 2 drops in approximately, like, three hours. I'm up really early today. I have, like, maybe 13 videos to record. Now, I gotta split them, obviously. I can't post all 13 today. I think five, five is fine. Comment down below how many videos you guys are willing to watch today. I think I could post up to, like, five today and be okay. And then post the other rest tomorrow. I got at least 13. I got some bangers for you guys coming today. I got some really good video ideas. Me and Zerk were on FaceTime late last night just talking about video ideas. I think we got it narrowed down to kind of what we need to be doing today. But there's a lot to do today. There's gauntlet grinding. There's getting the free gauntlet players, which is what this video is going to be about. There's leveling up the fastest. There's power passes. There's so much stuff to go over. So I got to start starting really early. I'm ready to get my thumbnails done and everything, guys. But before we get into this video, make sure to run below. Hit that subscribe button, boys. We're grinding to 9K right now. We're, we're, we're pretty far considering how we're growing right now, but it's not it's not, it's not, a, not forever. It's going to be like probably a month. So start the grind today. Let's, let's do some damage today. Go down below. Hit the thumbs up button, boys. I'm dropping 13 videos in like two days. Hit the thumbs up button. Show some love for the grind. Comment down below how many videos you guys want to see today. I don't know if four or five. And then also, since we're going to be going over the amount of players that I think you should be taking from Gauntlet and which ones are the best ones, comment down below who you think is the best one afterwards so you can help out other people in the comments. Maybe, like, you have a key point for why some guy might be better than another. That could greatly help another guy. Like, obviously, once I go over the players, let's say Michael Thomas here, if he was one of them, like, he has this stat, so, like, he'll be very worth it in the, in the long run, you know, like, just all that stuff. Go down below, comment down below, help each other out. Help the community out, boys. We're going to head on over to Twitter, obviously, because these stats are on Twitter. But they do have all the stats and all the card art and everything. So you guys can see everything just perfectly fine from there. I'm going to rank them, show you guys who I take. So let's get into it. All right, guys. So the amount of players we have are five. We have Ed Oliver, Leonard Fournette, Juju Smith-Schuster, Devin White, and I believe Derwin James. So that's a grand total of five. I'm going to start off with number five, Ed Oliver Jr., defensive tackle for the Buffalo Bills. In real life, I like him. I like him as a prospect, but his stats on the card are not the greatest. I honestly think this is the worst choice of all five. That's why he's coming at number five. He's six foot one. He has a 78 speed, 84 acceleration, 86 strength, 87 tackle, 81 play rec, 82 block shedding, 81 power move, and 75 finesse. So, for a defensive tackle, what I look for? Speed and excel. He's got that. I'll give him that. Tackle, he's got that. Decent strength, but his play rec is really low. His block shed is really low, and his pass rushing is low, so he really can't play the run too well or pass rush too well. He's kind of just fast, which isn't going to help me at all if he can't break off blocks. Like, Alan Page is fine because he could get off blocks and pass rush and then use his speed. And Oliver Speed is going to be useless if he can't, if he just gets blocked right away every time. So I don't think he's the best option. I mean, he is a defensive tackle, though, so he's a position that you probably won't really want to be filling that often. So if you guys want to just, you know, set it and forget it, defensive tackle, he's not a horrible option. But I think the other four are tremendously better in like multiple ways than one. So I probably wouldn't recommend going Ed Oliver, to be completely honest with you guys. Next on the list is Leonard Fournette. So I actually really do like this card, but because he's a halfback and because of certain reasons, I can't exactly recommend him over the other guys. But his stats are pretty beastly. And by the way, just to recap with you guys here, these cards are not power up eligible. So initially, these cards aren't the full version of the card. So if you guys know how Gauntlet usually works, it's that you get your cards, and at the end of Gauntlet 1, 2, and 3, we put them all into a set, and we get, like, some Master Gauntlet 95 overall. So, that card will be power-up eligible. These technically aren't a part of the chain, which is fine, because that means if you have another London Fortnite, you could power them up all the way, let's just say. And then when you get the Master, you could put them right into this. So, it's not bad, honestly. It has its reasons. I understand why. But London Fortnite is 6 feet tall, so he's pretty tall. Not, not the tallest, but he's tall. 88 speed, so he's actually really fast for a London Fortnite card. The only issue with the 88 speed is that, again, we're getting that in Series 2, and if you know anything about Series 1, we already had 90 speeds and plus. Now, he's got an 86 acceleration, a little bit on the low side, considering the point of Madden we're in. 80 agility, a little bit low. 92 carrying is actually really awesome, which is surprising. I don't even know if he's the best cat. I don't even know in the NFL if he has the best carrying like that, but 65 catching, a little low. 75 elusiveness, very low. 90 trucking is really good, and 83 break tackle. But me, personally, I care more about break tackle than trucking, because I really don't truck that much. Break tackles more like those freak broken tackles that you get in those great plays. I care more about that. 
Now, if it's now the only difference with this car, what does this look like to you? At first glance, it looks like Bo Jackson to me. So, I, in my opinion, I think you'd be better off powering up Bo Jackson to an 89 overall, and you'd get the exact same stats, if not better. He actually might be faster than Bo Jackson. So, I see this as power up Bo Jackson. Nothing too special here. I do like him a lot, had we gotten him in Series 1, but at this point, I can't really recommend him. Coming in at number 3, we got Juju Smith Schuster. Now, I love this card. I love this card. If he wasn't a wide receiver, I would have ranked it like if, if he was any other position like with stats like this Let's just say obviously he wouldn't have those because he's not a wide receiver I'd rank him higher, but the other two cards are just awesome They fill a lot of positions of needs that like you typically don't touch wide receiver is a depth position So like I, I don't know I might I, I still might take this card I haven't decided yet and remember there's a gauntlet exchange set So don't don't fret too much about it, but I'll explain all that at the end of the video He's six foot one, 87 speed, 89 jumping, 89 catching, 89 catching traffic, 89 spec catch, 80 route running across the board. So the way this card works right here is that he's fast, he's decently tall. If you power this guy up, but you cannot, so in this case, it's chemming up. If you chemmed him up, he could potentially get 90 threshold catching, 90 threshold catching traffic, 90 threshold spec catch, and 90 threshold jumping. This guy will be a beast receiver. The only thing he's missing is route running. But... If you use him as like a receiver that runs post and streaks and slants, you're not really going to feel the route running too much. I feel route running more on quick cuts like out routes, in routes, post routes. Post routes only at the initial cut. Deep post routes, no. But like there's certain things where he won't feel, but I don't know. That route running might kill him. I don't know. That's, that's what concerns me about this card. The stats as a whole and being Juju, I do, I'm a Juju fan, so I really wouldn't mind him. But it's kind of concerning. Next on the list, we got Derwin James. He's coming in at number two. He's six foot two. Derwin James, if you guys know anything about Derwin James, he is injured in real life, but in Madden, he's been a monster since last year, since he's first been a rookie. His most feared card looks very similar to this last year. He's six foot two, so he's tall, which is good. 87 speed, 89 acceleration. That's Ken Houston like. My only issue with this card is potentially that he looks like a Ken Houston replica, if not worse. 87 speed, 89 excel. So he's an athletic freak. 76 tackles, a little bit low for safety. But again, my safety comes down and lays the boom, doesn't exactly wrap up, so. I don't know if that really matters in that sense. 87 play rec, really good. If you if you chem this guy up with a lockdown, he will get the play rec threshold. He has 81 pursuit, 82 man, 81 zone, 89 hit power. Powered up properly or chemmed up properly later on, he will have the hit power threshold and the play rec threshold and the excel threshold. And the only thing that I really bothers me about him maybe is his man and zone and potentially the tackle and even the pursuit a little bit because pursuit's really important. But he's really fast, so I think that kind of makes up for it. Derwin James is a beast. My only issue is that he looks like a Ken Houston replica. So, and he's a strong safety. So we obviously get Pat Tillman for free, which is why I really don't know if Derwin James is exactly the move here. Now coming in first on the list is Devin White. I believe he's a rookie. I don't, I, I mean, I, I know he's a rookie, but in case I'm wrong, don't kill me. Devin White looks like a beast. I mean, I'm gonna have to unpower down my Patrick Willis now. It sucks because I already have Shazier, but Shazier and Devin White are gonna be a linebacker duo for the ages. Six feet tall, so he's tall. 88 speed that is marcus allen that is a running back i'm i'm in awe of what i'm seeing right now 88 speed 87 acceleration this is going to be the best user linebacker we've ever been giving in madden this early most likely it's up there at least 88 speed 87 excel that means like that means i'm not using shazier anymore i'm using him and shazier could be the other linebacker that just plays on his own 73 strength not the highest but i can't i'm in also over the speed 90 tackling he's a threshold tackler Speed and Excel, 83 play rec, which I could care less about because I'm going to be using him. 81 block shedding, which isn't bad for getting off the run, especially at linebacker. 89 hit power. We just got given potentially one of the hardest hitting linebackers, coupled with one of the best tacklers, with the fastest linebacker. This is unreal. 71 zone, I couldn't care less about because I'm using him. So if you if you chem this guy up in the right way with John, with Madden or whatever you end up doing, or with the abilities, he could potentially get the threshold hit power, threshold tackling, and he has 88 speed and 87 excel. If you put Sprinter on your team, and this card has it, he's going to have a 90 speed. This is unreal. He is far and away the number one. It's between him and Juju for me. Derwin James is the only reason. I think he's better. He's number two. But in my opinion, I think I'll be taking between Devin White and Juju because that's who I care more about. Derwin is obviously better, so I can't put him behind Juju. He's a beast. But guys, these cards look beastly. I'm really excited to start this gauntlet as soon as it comes out in about two and a half hours, three hours. Devin White for me, I think for most people should be the number one option, but again, it comes down to your team. Maybe you have Shazier and Keekly Nat and you can't really do anything about that. Then don't just go sell Keekly, you know, just get go go get Derwin, go get Juju. Even Fournette if you nearly need to. I don't recommend an Oliver to anyone. 
but this Devin White, this Devin White special. I'm excited to have him on the team. Now, guys, don't forget that we can exchange these cards. There will be a gauntlet exchange. So let's say you take Ed Oliver, right, for now for defensive tackle. Let's say you take Devin White. And in like a few weeks, you get a nat middle linebacker. You could just potentially put Devin White into the gauntlet set. You could exchange him and get back exactly what you need. So don't fret about the fact that if you take the wrong guy, you're screwed. Especially this year because it's not tokens. It's literally just to, you have to, to exchange it. You got to put Devin White in with a goal player. A goal player is like 2K. So it'll cost you 2K to re-roll, which isn't bad at all. So you can even test all of them out for 6K, which really isn't that bad. But let's head on over to the Madden screen. All right, so we're back on the Madden screen, guys. That is it for the video. Those were the five options. Remember, you can re-roll them. It's, you got to finish the Gauntlet Souls. I'll plan, I plan to finish them today and get you guys the rewards at some point today. But that's about it for the video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys did enjoy it. If you found this useful, make sure to give it a big thumbs up. Let's get this video to 200 likes. Make sure to comment down below what player you'll be taking and for reasons why potentially too to help out the community. And also, make sure to hit that subscribe button, boys. Let's hit 8,100 today and let's start grinding towards 9,000. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm out. See you guys later. Enjoy the other five videos. Peace.